Good afternoon, YouTube. Drew of the Shed here, coming now with this Sunday message. Um, I think this week's topic is going to be rather interesting, seeing as I experienced some of this this uh, few days ago, um, and that being growth. Yes. What an interesting thing it is that I experienced such growth, and uh, while that was happening, um, I was thinking about this topic. Um, first off, what am I smoking here? I am smoking my Savinelli 625, some Drew Estate meat pie. So first off in growth, um, I mean, I'm more looking, you know, rather than physical growth, um, personal growth. And, and often I think a time that most of us can relate to when we saw great growth in ourselves um, as if we look at to uh, being a teenager. And when I was a teenager, I was kind of angry. But luckily, not just a random angst, but it was anger that I wasn't happy with the way things were. With the way the world had been presented to me. And so I decided to change so that could be, or so it could be, a better world for me. And I could relate to it better. And, and I think that speaks volumes that, you know, oftentimes, a lot of times we just get angry and we get frustrated and it just goes nowhere. But we don't, what we don't think about is maybe we're getting angry for a reason. And that reason is we need to grow in some way so we can make the changes so that we're not angry anymore, so that we can cope with things better. And with that, I think something that we fail to realize is that oftentimes when we're trying to make a change and trying to grow, there's conflict associated with it. And so many little times do we actually take into consideration that growth rarely happens without there being some sort of conflict, whether it be external or internal. And it's this conflict that often just gives us that little push, that nudge that says, hey, you got to make a change. you got to grow. you got to become more mature. There's a way you can deal with this better. And, and sometimes, too, with that growth comes a lot of pain. And I know from my personal experience, um, my wife and I, we met on the Internet. Um, I lived here in Montana, and she lived in Virginia, so uh, quite a long ways apart. And because of that, there was, uh, at least on my part, actual physical pain because I was growing closer to this woman and yet I could not be with her. But I knew something better was coming. And, and oftentimes there are many things that we will experience with that. Um, you know, some of you that are parents really, you know, it, it pains you sometimes to see the things that your child are going through, but you know they're growing. And they're becoming better people. Um, you know, a couple of months ago, I was actually going through a really rough time at work. And so much so that I, I was in a lot of anguish. I was in pain. I, did, I didn't like doing it. And it just, ugh, just, ugh, you know. And I woke up one morning and there's this thought in my mind as I got in the shower. Gold is often best polished with tears. And as soon as I started remembering that, things got a lot easier for me. And the change, the growth that I had to have take place 
didn't seem quite as bad anymore because there was, it, it reminded me there was a purpose of it. And with that purpose, it, it reminds me of another thing that happens with growth is you're often not going to be comfortable. So many times we just decide to settle for the status quo. Become comfortable and it just, we stagnate. So us as humans, we were built and designed to be able to handle to discomfort. And growth sometimes in this area it can be seen as adaptation. We adapt to the situation. We make it better for ourselves. We become able to handle it. And that's because we grew. And with that, I'd like to leave you a quote from Napoleon Hill. And that is, strength and growth are only through constant effort and struggle. And with that, my friends, have a good week, be kind, and good to each other.